get a beautiful metal for uh, those that are interested. Just as we go off for a walk with Missy. Missy, say hello. Mm. And Rexy. Rexy, say hello. As we walk in this fantastic sunshine. Nice and early in the morning. <clears throat> So it's going to be a good day. Uh, I decided, well, luckily, Rex has turned up at our house to be uh, looked after. And uh, this is my first walk with Rexy and Missy. Rexy is a family dog. But uh, me and the family member worked hard on uh, training up. And she's a pretty impressive dog. go far wrong with a Labrador to be fair as long as you keep them balanced or any dog as long as you keep them balanced she's still quite young so uh... wait wait both of them stopped dead on the railway track awesome I don't think you can go far wrong with uh, either a <laughs> either a border collie or uh a Labrador. Um, then moving across from one piece of grass to another, and they know full well that the uh, the path is uh, an area that dogs walk, people walk, so they're very guarded and a little bit uh, spooked at that point. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me in the wind. It's just a little light breeze. Ah, ah, me see, ball. Seems very interested in the deer this morning, and rightly so. They're not very far away from us. They're only here. You see, leave it. Good girl. Good girl. Missy, Missy, Missy. Ignore them. Thank you. Good girl. Ah, ah, Missy, come. Missy, come. Missy, come. Shh. No. No. We won't be having that, will we? Sit. Sit. Now leave it. I think that was a bit of the uh, herding instinct coming out. Leave it. You see? Watch. Distracted by the ball. Interestingly, uh, I had plantar fasciitis and have had it on and off for years, but I've had it um, over 12 months now, really painfully. Probably the worst I've ever had it. Um, I've always had orthotics and um, <clears throat> sort of played lip service to the stretches and the, uh, the ball rolling, etc. None of them which really made any difference. Eventually, it just goes away on its own, hopefully. Um, although mine hasn't gone away, it has actually eased off. And um, why it's eased off is I took all the orthotics out of the uh, out of the shoe, out of the trainers and the boots, so I don't actually have any uh, any orthotics. In. Um, it's because I read a, or listened to an article that a guy was saying that the feet need strengthening up, and that uh, supporting them doesn't help to strengthen them. It helps to uh, keep constantly stretching and damaging the, uh, the plants are. You see? You see? You see, come. You see? Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. The uh, plantar, I've used uh, night splints. Ah, fantastic. Fantastic. I've used night splints, I've used uh, orthotics, stretches, massage, the whole package. Nothing's, uh, nothing's worked. Um, and then I go and buy a dog at the same point, which was a bit foolish, but... Um, I say buy a dog. I <laughs> included a, a new pet into the equation that I would have to walk on a regular basis. 
um, and I'm topping up a fair old distance again and um, it seems to be improving from the exercise the physicality but uh, the hill the hill spur pain or whatever they want to call it that bit is um, it's still painful but not nowhere near as painful as it was and here uh, over on the railway track um, looking to cross the road So we have to leave that alone, don't you? Otherwise, we're going to end up with poorly, uh, poorly shins. Missy's decided to get herself tangled up there without even questioning it. Found herself some new friends. <laughs> Morning. Come on, Rexy. Good. Missy? Let's see if she remembers. Missy? Ch -ch -ch. Missy ball. Down, floor. It's not down, that's completely something else. Teaching your dog to, uh, to go over obstacles is a good way of getting them used to uh, mountain walks, and climbing on ridges, etc. Spent many years on the mountains with my uh, early dogs, and uh, one of my dogs has been over Crib Gok, if anyone knows where Crib Gok is. It's a bit of a knife edge ridge and the dog walked it on its own. So there is no, uh, there's nothing out of bounds for uh, a Border Collie in particular. I wouldn't recommend a three and a half mile walk with plantar fasciitis, which is what the, uh, which is what chase water is. But certainly not walking and resting got me nowhere, absolutely nowhere. So, I uh, highly recommend giving those orthotics a, an exclusion and uh, give the chance for your uh, feet to, and muscles to start working in again properly. Spreading the toes and, uh, and doing your stretches and trying to get your feet working a little bit better than they were before. Leave it. Leave it. There's a nice reaction. This one comes back. So they're very much used to it. Missy. She's a little bit uh, more excited this morning than she would normally be. I presume that's due to Rexy. That's crazy, that is. God. Crazy. She's just been remanded for trying to herd a wagtail. She's certainly a little bit more animated than she normally is on the walk, and she's walking at a much further distance than normal. I'm presuming that's because I've got the lab with me, and uh, she has been walking with my partner for a couple of times, so uh, her boundaries now got a little bit further out. I've had a little bit of trouble with her breaking the boundary as well, and not listening to try and rein your boundaries in. Subacqua days, I dive this lake um, on my own. It's uh, supposedly bottomless, like every other lake in the country, um, but it was about 10 meters deep. Um, 
at its deepest point. A cute dog thing that comes from a, a guy on the internet that's worth watching. First and eighth airborne. If you do a search on YouTube, you'll come across loads of uh, very, very interesting stuff. Um, uh, meat only diets, uh, pack building, pack walking, um, tattoos. Just an interesting guy, very charismatic guy. Well worth a look. And if you do uh, comment on anything, just tell him Dog and Deaf Singer in Britain's been uh, recommended it. Thank you very much. No criticism, just an observation. If the first thing that you do when another dog comes along is uh, pull your lead tight and tension up your lead, uh, you're adding anxiety to the dog. Um, you're, you're telling the dog it's right to be frightened. Your dog will uh, tense up and will either react or become frightened, fight or flight. And as means it can't run away, you've got it on the lead, it's more likely to fight. Um, so really that should be the first indication that you should train your dogs. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I can already see there's issues. But at least I'm working on them every time they come. Enjoy your dog walks. And enjoy your dogs. And training is enjoyable. So it should be part of your walks. It should be part of your everyday walks. Good girl. Nice down stay there, girl. Good girl. Good girl. Go on then. Um, this is the part where the road gets right next to the path. And this is the point which your dog should already be under control. As you can see, I've deliberately not. Just to show there could be a risk of them just wandering into the road. Especially if the ball, <coughs> especially if the ball decides to go that way. Um, so I do something uh, when I'm training. Where you uh, bounce the ball or attempt to bounce the ball. The dogs come running back in and then you go leave it. Heel. Missy. Missy heel. Watch. Good girl. Watch. The reason I make these videos, I don't really know. Um, to keep uh, the store of my videos instead of storing them on my phone. To um, create an enjoyable link for someone to watch um, for training purposes if you like training not that I'm a dog expert I've just many years of walking dogs and helping people with dogs I've identified a few issues and uh, managed to come up with solutions I seem to understand dogs better than I understand people so it makes sense to do a little bit of a training video for someone um, For anyone who hasn't got a dog or wants to enjoy a walk, it's at least a shop window into uh, our area, something that's been neglected for a long time. Chase Water and Proud and all that. Um, these mining areas were, were very industrial, very dark places. I think the, uh, the chance to walk these places now and enjoy them as a nature reserve and something beautiful. I count myself incredibly lucky, particularly during lockdown when uh, when people were struggling to get out and their mental health was damaged. Mine was mine was top, uh, and the main reason was I was walking a beautiful dog, Fidget, the uh, golden uh, golden Labrador, and um, enjoying every second of this environment. It was heaven. Um, that's great if you've got the money. My needs for money these days aren't as great as they used to be, so uh, I was living off my savings. Um, and I could, I'm self-employed, so I could work whenever I wanted. So um, as long as you hadn't got any financial restraints, there was benefits in lock, with, with lockdown, benefits to be found within lockdown. And uh, I, did, I did enjoy it, simple as. Um, another reason why I Finally got myself another dog. 
um, which I was very happy with. Um, I wouldn't recommend going out and buying a dog. They're a lot of hard work, a lot of money, a lot of expense and a lot of fear if they ever disappear, if they ever get stolen or you lose them. Um, but I hope that this video is suitable for anyone who wants a dog or has a dog, a new pup. And it's looking like that the, uh, the dog world has doubled in Britain for sure. I'd like to know the figures. It'd be interesting to know the figures. But uh, I'm, I'm convinced they've doubled. And there's people out walking dogs more and more on lead and less and less free roaming, which is a crying shame because uh, a dog was never designed to go on a lead. That's for sure. It complies. That's a different thing. Uh oh. Watch out for your shins. <laughs> Keep away. Keep away. Keep away. Why, oh, thank you. Should we have a ball instead? Missy. Missy's showing dominance. When I first came down here, all this was coming in stolen cars, all the way down. Stolen car, dumped, burned. Now, beautiful bird song. Dogs and deer. Jade's Water Heath Cafe is now open. It's a short stay. That's why I was worried about that sticking for me in the shins. As every dog owner knows. It hurts. Dogs, down. Good girls. About once every walk, I get asked what, uh, what dog she is. She's a four, one week old border collie, blue male, possibly a tri blue male. She's got the three colours. Where's she stick? Oh, 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 oh. You're going to run off. You're a chicken, you are. You aren't going to water. Oh, in the water. That's better. Get your feet wet.
Swans full credit for their uh, their confidence. Let me see, leave it. Let me see, leave it. Hey, quiet, quiet. Let me see. Let me see. Something new for her. I'm trying to get Missy to swim in the water, but uh, she's not interested in the water. Leave it. Hey, 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 hey. No. Mm. Thought we got ourselves a Mexican standoff. What's that? That's a question. Hey, stop. Stop. No. Right looking pack. <laughs> it's okay. I'm on trouble. White. Ah, ah. You see? Hello. <laughs> oh, it's looking dog. Thank you. Can you uh, you've got Yeah. Pop. Oh, the is more interesting. How old? She's um Four months and one week, I think. <laughs> I do find if I take them over, but you know, with Andrew, the Rotty, yeah. everyone bless him alike. Oh, I'm not going to like, oh, no, Rotty. Right, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. 